read in the Parsha how Yehuda enters into a confrontation with the viceroy of Egypt not knowing that this is Yosef and he's recounting all that had transpired initially and how he had asked that they bring their youngest brother and Yehuda is explaining the value of Binyamin to Yaakov Avinu, to their father. And he says, V'ov Ahevo. And his father loves him. Binyamin, Ahevo. We find that when the Torah tells us Yaakov's relation with Yosef, V'Yisrael of as Yosef called Bonov, Ki Ben Again, Yaakov had a special love for Yosef, also Ohi. In both of them, he ben skunim, bar chakim, he was the wisest, and over there Rashi cites Chazal, all the Torah he had studied in Shem Ve'ever, he had transmitted to Yosef. Over here the Balaturim, when he writes Zekunim, so the word Zekunim is written with the Vav, is deleted, so it can be read Zekanim. So the Balaturim explains that all that Yaakov had learned, the Torah Shem Ve'ever also, he had transmitted to Binyamin. The Binyamin was the equivalent of Yosef. So we find Ahevo in regard to Binyamin, and Yisrael Av as Yosef, as, as Yosef he called Bonov, also Ahevo. We find by Rivka that initially it says, Yitzchak Av as Esav, Kitzai Defiv, because he asked the questions, what the meaning of tzayit? So Rashi cites two interpretations, two pshatim, either because he fed him his trappings, or he deceived him. And he presented himself as if he's somebody who's God-fearing. But it says, Rivka O'Hevis is Yaakov. Rivka loved Yaakov. Rivka had a special love to Yaakov. Initially, Rivka had said to Yaakov when he flees, Yom HaChodim. You should go for a Yom HaChodim, a short amount of time. He stayed away for 22 years. So the Mida Kenegi Mida, the measure for measure with Yosef, who was most special to his father, he was denied knowing he's alive for 22 years. 22 years, that's the difference. So again, so Yaakov was Rivko Oheves, as Oheves is Yaakov, that Avo, was denied to her for 22 years. Therefore, Mida Kedegad Nido, you saw of us, Yosef, that love, that special relationship between Yaakov and Yosef was severed for 22 years. Now we find, in this week's parsha, it says, when he heard that Yosef is alive, it says, Vatchi Ruach Yaakov. His spirit was enlivened, meaning for 22 years he was denied Nevoah. That since he was in a state of depression, for 22 years, he did not have nevuah. Ruach, it's the Ruach HaKodesh returned to him when he realized that Yosef was alive. Now, we find that when Yaakov left Be'er Sheva, it says, Vayetzi Yaakov Be'er Sheva Yel Chorono. When a tzaddik leaves a location, especially Yaakov, despite the fact that Yitzchak and Rivka were there, and then the Merkova, Nevertheless, Ponohoda, Pondeziva, Pondohoda, the beauty, the splendor, it was not the same Beersheba. Meaning, Rivka herself was denied 22 years of Yaakov's presence, it was a different Beersheba. Meaning, Yitzchok and Rivka themselves, they would have, it was a different, the relationship. Hashem valued that, play, that location differently because Yaakov was no longer there. It was to a lesser degree. So the Kedusha or whatever, the Siyate Dishmaya that would come to that location is no longer the same because Yaakov is not there for 22 years. How many years was Yaakov denied Ruach HaKodesh? So it's not only he was denied his son, as he denied Be'er Sheva, which was his parents, 22 years of that special Hod and Hoda, which has to do with spirituality. God's Yachas, his relationship with that location, so Yitzchok, Yaakov was denied meter connected meter, measure for measure, 22 years of what? Of Nevoah, of that level of attachment to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So we see in terms of Yaakov, 
in terms because he violated the dictate of his mother or the request of his mother, Yod this is the consequence and the ramifications of that violation.